friends. I'm Natalie. I'm Abigail. And we're Let's Play Ride and Seek. And we wanted to do a video on the number one question we get asked, how do we make money on the road? Spoiler, we're not digital nomads with online jobs and we don't work full time on the road. We actually had to quit our jobs to do this. We saved ahead of time and now live off of our savings. Yes, and before this, I was a sous chef at a restaurant. And I ran my own photography studio and taught pole dance fitness classes part time. When we knew we wanted to live and travel this way, we knew we'd have to really plan ahead to make it work financially. So I sat down and did some budget research and I decided that we'd need about $2,000 a month uh, for expenses on the road. We wanted to go at least one full year without stopping to work. So we committed ourselves to saving $12,000 each. So over an 18 month period while we were building out our van and working full time jobs, we saved a collective $24,000. How did we save so much money? Woo -hoo! That's the burning question. So the first thing we had to do was take on a minimalist mentality. Second thing, put your goal in front of you. We made a chart on paper that we could physically see where we put our names on each side and we had small increments up to the amount we wanted to save. And every time we saved that amount, we would highlight it. So you could literally see it build. And it kept us in check because Abby was saving a little bit quicker than I was, for <laughs> sure. We stopped going out to eat. As a chef, I didn't have a lot of excuse not to start making em rails at home, so that's what I did. And also that saves you on tipping because tipping adds up a lot. Um, we also got rid of any unnecessary bills. So Comcast, internet, whoosh, $60 a month, had to go. We switched to our hotspots on our phone. We also got rid of Netflix, very sad, but we had to do it. We also downsized our housing. We went from a three bedroom, 1500 square foot house to a tiny studio apartment. That saved us a lot on rent. We sold pretty much all of our belongings and furniture. We had two yard sales and sold a bunch of stuff online. That added up to a lot of savings as well. Yes, Facebook Marketplace is awesome for selling stuff. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised what you can sell on there. It just takes a little time, but it's worth the effort. We also sold our vehicles. I had a pickup truck and Natalie had a sporty car. <laughs> we sold them kind of early on. Natalie started driving the van to work and I drove a moped to my She workout. did, she scared the crap out of me. She didn't have to go far though, luckily. And driving the van also helped me get used to driving it and parking it. I also picked up a part-time serving job at a restaurant so I could make some fast cash. I also did some extra chef work outside of my job doing some pop-ups and some takeovers at restaurants to help as well. Mm -hmm. Since we've been on the road, I've tracked our expenses, and on a low month, we spent just $1,400 of our $2,000 monthly budget. We do try to be under budget because that $600 or any amount of money that we don't spend goes towards our future mechanical repairs and maintenance fund. Very necessary. Yeah. <laughs> and we've been on the road 11 months now, so your next question would probably be, what are you going to do when money runs out? Luckily for us, I don't need a studio to book photography work. I have an awesome client base in our hometown of Charleston, South Carolina, and before we even hit the road in February of 2019, I was hired to shoot a wedding for later that year in October. When October came around, I flew back to Charleston for a single week and managed to book another wedding and 45 portrait sessions. And all of that work that my lovely wife did provided us with another six months financially on the road. Now I have been able to book a few photo shoots since we've been on the road. I'm definitely open to working while we travel um, and I'm hoping to grow my client base as we go to new places and connect with new people. I sell stock photography online as well and that helps to add a little recurring monthly income. She sells my face a lot. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's not enough to cover even a little bit of our expenses, but it definitely helps extend our savings. Yeah, so make sure you check out not only our Let's Play Ride and Seek page, but she has her own personal photography page, non Perel Photo, and there you can book sessions through her, also through our website, letsplayrideandseek.com. Um, she does everything from boudoir, family, travel, and anything you need. Yeah. So, Or if you're interested in pole dance photography. I do that. Check her out. <laughs> Currently, I play housewife. Um, I do the cleaning in the van, I do the maintenance, I drive, I make sure she eats well, 
Um, I'm very fortunate that she has given me the opportunity to figure out what it is I want to do on the road, find new hobbies. Um, eventually, I do want to do some personal chef gigs, but that is a little bit hard as we're traveling constantly to be able to book gigs in different states. Um, but eventually something like that will come about. We are also wanting to work on a book. We have tons of ideas. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I do want to remember is that we worked very hard to get this point where we save that much money to enjoy a year without work. So it's a balance game. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough, but we have the finances to provide us with time to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You may be wondering how we plan to sustain this lifestyle for an extended period of time. Forever. Well, that's a great question. We are debt free and now that we live in a van, we're rent free. So all of our money that we do make goes a lot longer. So when we stop to work for say a few months, I mean that money can keep us going for months on end afterwards. Yeah. So the message here is that if you want something bad enough, sit down, do some research, make a plan, make a goal and act on it. Yeah, we're just normal people that were, you know, we followed through on our dreams. That's mm -hmm. all you have to do. You have to get serious and go for it. Hopefully this video helped you get inspired and we wanted to be as candid as we could so that you could truly see how we were able to save. Yeah. If you like us, subscribe. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs>